Hello and welcome to our tutorial on exporting a SQL database or database table to an XML uh, spreadsheet. My name is Matt Overwine and I am with the with NKU Northern Kentucky University's Office of Instructional Design and this will just be a really short tutorial here. First you want to log into your cPanel and if you have service through a, uh, a web provider you should be able to they should have given you information to log into your own server and usually one of the interfaces they use is one called cPanel it's pretty easy to work with here. Um, what you first want to do is go to scroll down. Yours might not, might not look exactly like this, but it'll look like something similar. Go ahead and scroll down to in your databases section, usually something called PHP My Admin. Go ahead and click on that, and that should open in a separate tab if you had have it set to do that, or it may just open in your current window. Here you have on the left listed all the databases that you have created on your on your site. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of the ones that I know won't harm anything if I happen to mess it up. The one I have named Matt DB here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Should load up here in just a second. All right. So from here, go ahead and click on export. You could do a variety of things here, but that's something more advanced. So right now we're just going to export one of these tables as a spreadsheet. Go ahead and click on export. And you have a variety of options here as well. Go ahead and scroll over a little bit. Yeah, maybe not. So right now, every single table in this database is selected. And if you were to export it that way, it looks a little bit messy and it's kind of hard to follow. So I would say go ahead and just export one table um, for now just to see what it's like if you're following this. Um, you could do all of them, but it just gets more confusing that way when you look at the file. So right now, I'm just going to scroll down to... Let's see here, I'll just do, we'll do users, or forums, how about forums? So I clicked on that, and here are the different file types we can export as. You can see the different ones here, CSV is comma separated document you could use to import that into another database, but we're, for right now we're just going to do Microsoft Excel 2000. You can also export as a PDF, a SQL script, all that works for other things. So here you're going to save save as file. You want to have that checked, make sure it's checked. And go ahead and put a name in here. Well, I already have test in here. Let's just go ahead and use that. And then we don't need any kind of compression, so because this is a very small file. I'm going to go ahead and hit go. And I'll bring this down. And it's just saying, do you want to go ahead and open it or do you want to go ahead and save it? So we're just going to go ahead and save it to the desktop by clicking OK here. And it's going to go ahead and save on our desktop. All right. Now that's downloaded, I'm going to go to the desktop and see if we can grab it real quick and show it to you that file. Okay, now that we have the Excel sheet open that we exported, um, you can now see the different fields that it must have had in the table. Um, a lot of times, you'll just see some numbers if you're exporting random tables because they're just relational databases that are referring to other entries in another database, things like that. Um, so this isn't that useful if you just print out this forum table like we did. But if you were to export, say, some survey results that you had, and each fo each um, question, say, had a specific number answer, then you, you if you had the survey in front of you, then you, of course you would know what it was. So hopefully that will help you out.